So in the news today, well, it, 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 it was a robbery in, uh, at uh, Awatambo International Airport in, uh, in Johannesburg, of South Africa. Um, and it, they robbed a, some, a jewelry store, I think some foreign exchange. Anyway, they got away with a whole bunch of millions of rands, like 200 million rands. Okay, I better do some math on that. They got, home, they got, got away with 200 million rands. Okay, great. Not, not great, but I mean, well, maybe it's great if you're if you were into that that kind of uh, law thing. Let me just do something here real, real quick. Now, the, they 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 got caught. Well, you know, some some security guards involved, or whatever have you. But the, the they they caught the so-called um, a mastermind behind all this uh, all this stuff. And uh, let me just divide this by uh, I just divided by twelve. And so this guy they got caught because the guy took a selfie, you know, with his thing, and. Uh, uh, he took a selfie of himself and one of his boys in front of a Lamborghini. It was a Lamborghini that they paid five million rand cash. <laughs> now that means that basically in American dollars that would um, be something like a, a four, what, uh, four, $416,000. That's according to exchange rate or close to it then so so they basically well I like to say five five million rand sounds a lot, a lot, a lot better but uh, four hundred sixteen thousand uh, dollars a car cash now so what happened was uh, the the dealer you know said hey somebody just spent five you know five million rand on this car and to the authorities so they started monitoring things and this idiot uh, okay, this 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 not too bright criminal ends up, you know, uh, on Facebook. They, I think they did this rob robbery on like March third or fourth or so, fourth or something like that, and then this is like uh, the nineteenth or the eighteenth, whatever they, they they caught him. So a couple of weeks later, <laughs> so he gets busted. All right. Now here's the thing. And so of course uh, the, the, the Twitter went all crazy and it, it, uh, this stupid guy blah blah blah. But here's the thing. That same airport in like 2000, before it was named Oliver Temple, they renamed it Oliver Temple International Airport, uh, they had a, a, a robbery uh, of a jewelry store and they got, got away with a, uh, a bunch of millions of, of rands, right? But these guys got caught, they were, from, uh, they were from Zimbabwe, they had gone back to Zimbabwe and they went to, I guess, they went to, to Harare, so some big city with the... Um, uh, with, with their loot and they end up, you know, spending cash and buying up the whole thing and whatever have you. So, so, so they got busted because, you know, they were ex extravagant. So these criminals, they don't even pay attention to regular popular films that say don't spend the money like that, but these guys just went and did it. Now, I mentioned that only to say that stupid criminals, but talk about stupid criminals, just reported that Donald Trump, there's a, there's a congressional hearing now with, with the head of the FBI and head of the uh, uh, you know, Federal Bureau of Confess Investigation in the United States, the uh, NSA, National Security Agency, and these are two top guys there having a congressional hearing. And in real time, the president, who is the president of these guys, he's tweeting, no, nah, they're not saying right, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're lying or whatever have you. Hilarious. This is, I mean, Donald Trump is hilarious. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it, it equates to this whole thing. Don't you watch popular movies? You're not supposed to do this stuff. But then again, I love this guy. Why? Because he's not being presidential. He's just being the Donald <laughs> at this point. So he do all sorts of things. Anyway, I just had to throw that out there because these are two things that may not seem related, but they're like, well, you know, really, really, really thing. Anyway, as my wife called me right now, uh, she's coming in while I do it. So let, let me end right here. Don't be sorry, come and sit down, baby. Uh -oh. like, no, she, she hates being famous. No, 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 let me say one more thing about Donald Trump. Thank you, Donald. But one, one, one more thing about Donald Trump. Uh, it's interesting uh, because he is doing any, he's doing everything possible, not as, as to, to, to get caught, when I said to get caught, being caught not being presidential, is that such a thing? But then again, what is the president? The president is anything he wants. So if he wants to cut budgets, he cuts budgets. If he wants to put all kinds of people or, uh, in places to, to gut programs, he can go ahead and do it. But some lowly criminal in South Africa, well, they can't get away with stuff like that. You, you, you draw the connections. I, I'm just going to leave it alone. Didn't me.
me leaving a lot is me and T for the better since taking a train to Tibet. Having a hilarious day. <laughs> I'm sorry, the news is. I gotta stay away from the news. I, gotta, I, gotta, I can't do it. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, this is T for the Patterson's taking a chance to bet, letting you know what I only suspect.